What's up, everybody? Hello. Welcome to Richmond, Kentucky. This is supposed to be one of the nicest towns in Kentucky. Let's drive through here and find out what it actually looked like up in, in a here. quarter mile. Making a U-turn at South Kalani Lane. Washington was definitely not what I was hoping it would be. So let's see what Richmond. Ooh, nice old car right there. They got a cookout. Yeah, buddy. I need to end that route and show me the map. Make a U-turn at South Killarney Lane. Richmond, Kentucky. It's south of Lexington. Lexington. Kentucky. Yeah. Let's see what this town's about. Look at that menu I said. Yes. Lexington was a bust. This is Richmond, which uh, a lot of new, so new houses on the outskirts and kind of Suburban, what is that? CBD next to a cricket? Yeah. That's the trashiest combination I've ever heard of. Them. Oh, an AT&T store. Want to try getting me a new phone? Sure. <laughs> I'm getting really angry at my old phone. The new ones are really better. They're supposed to release a new iPhone. Call them and see if they have it. At least show me the map. One or two. Maybe it's a long time. They have uh, Kentucky Eastern University here. Uh -huh. yep. yep, there's a university here. It looks nice. It's a really nice town, it really is. From what I can gather off the internet, but that's one thing. You gather one thing off the internet, you come here and you see a yeah. whole different thing. You know, sometimes what you see on the internet isn't what you actually get. Colonel Country. Yep. Downtown is kind of. I should have taken a turn there. That was my turn right there. That's how cool you turn. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Well, there's a university there. It's in Kentucky. Yeah. Is there a new hospital there? Yep, Baptist Health. Just like an old. Uh -huh. Richmond, Eastern Kentucky. University. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Boggs Lane. In a quarter mile, turn left into Frankfurt was a bust. Yeah. Shepherdsville was really nice though. Okay. Shepherdsville, I think, yeah. was great. So far, I think Shepherdsville is the only place in Kentucky that I've been really nice. The the the, the, the suburbs of Louisville were pretty much trash. Yeah. I didn't like any of it. There was a lot of work here, so a lot of equipment and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Turn left onto Boggs Lane. Right there. Chevy dealership. To the Myers Corporation, please invest in Florida. Especially I know, Southwest right? Florida. Come on, bro. What do you want? Yeah. Yeah, so right I mean, I don't, I don't even think they're in Georgia. They would do great in Georgia. They would do great in Florida. Because so many people from the Midwest the are in Florida. I don't know. And it's, an, it's better than Target. There's anywhere left. The problem is, like, a piece of land is like 10 million. A piece of land to put one in is 10 million dollars nowadays. Not at me. Not at me. Not at me. I fooled up at me. I don't have all day, me. Don't put it on me, me. Continue on Boggs Lane for half a mile. Okay, so you guys have been asking me to teach you guys Spanish. I'm gonna teach you guys Cuban Spanish. Que bola a serie. Que bola a serie. That is, uh, what's ball and play or something like that, or, or what's up homie or something like that. Now, this is not a term you want to use with strangers. And not with your grandma. Either. Yeah, it's not like a grandma term. This is kind of like, what up homie? You know, like, you really got to be cool with somebody to say that to them. But if you know, like, let's say you have a Cuban workmate or something, and you want to just kind of get fresh with them and just get a little overly friendly with them. And make sure they're male. Yeah, it's very vulgar to say it to a woman. Yeah. It's like, what a home. Head northwest yeah. on Richwood Boulevard toward Bellwood Place. This is where you have a lot of here in the In town, 500 feet at the traffic circle, take the third exit and stay on Richwood Boulevard. But anyways, if you're, um, if you got, let's say, a Cuban workmate or something, and you want to impress them with your Spanish, 
que vola a ser. Q U E. That's what. In 800 que, feet, turn left onto Boggs Lane. K, which is what? You know, K. It means what? K. Bola. B O L A. Bola. Bola means like what's happening or something. Yeah, it could be like the English comparable of happening. What's happening? I said it. Turn left onto Boggs Lane. Is uh, A C E R E, which is I said it's it's uh, it's a Cuban slang for brother. So what's happening, brother? Something like that. That would be like that with the like the English comparable smiley face right there. In a quarter mile, turn left onto Big Hill Avenue. You know that smiley face has a street meaning, right? I'll tell you later. Yeah. I don't want to tell people on YouTube because I don't want to blow their spot, but <laughs> might have already just kidding. But anyways, que vola a sere. Say it with me. Que, que vola a sere. Que vola a sere. Turn left onto Big Hill Avenue. Que vola a sere. And it's not just saying it, your intonation is really important. So listen to the intonation. Que bola a sere. Que bola a sere. You don't want to say que bola a sere because then it doesn't sound right. The intonation is super important to convey the proper message. Que bola a sere. That's it, the proper intonation to give the phrase the right meaning. And again, only Cubans are really going to understand that. Other Hispanics will have absolutely no idea what type of gibberish you're throwing at them. If you have a Cuban workmate, you want to impress them with your Spanish, you can greet them with a que bola a sere. Say it with me one last time. Que bola a sere. Que bola a sere. And that will really... And if they get out of hand, there's always a simple conmigo no. Conmigo no. Which is not with me. It means I ain't putting up with this crap. Conmigo no. So if your Cuban friends get out of hand, they're being lazy or they're trying to rush you or. Continue for three quarters of a mile. Conmigo no. Which is C O N M I G O. Conmigo no. Conmigo no means with me. Conmigo means with me, and then no means no. So with me no, like, like this ain't gonna happen with me. I ain't putting up with this crap. Conmigo no. And that's an easy one. As you can think about migo, like my amigo. Conmigo no. You can write this down and help you remember it. Conmigo no. Ooh, is that? That thing right there. It, it's for sale. Oh, yeah. But we ain't buying it. What do you mean we ain't buying it? You bet we're buying it. Conmigo no. Conmigo no. And again, the intonation is super. Conmigo no, Jose. See, the way you did it made me, made me think like, like you're inviting me to dinner or something. That's what I thought. <laughs> the intonation is super important on these because you want to convey the right message. Uh, what the crap's going on here now? Conmigo no. Conmigo, no. Oh, it's a, it's a mm -hmm. funeral service. Alright. Somebody died. Conmigo, no. Oh, it's a big procession. Okay. Yeah. Oh, here, curb. <laughs> we'll go around. Head northeast on Halley Irvine Street toward Hillsdale Avenue. Then turn left onto Hillsdale Avenue. Conmigo no. Turn left onto Hillsdale Avenue, then turn left onto East Street. Conmigo no. Conmigo no. Turn left onto yeah. East Street, then turn right onto East Main Street. You want to sound like you're angry about it. Conmigo no. Back to Kentucky. Yeah, see that tang over there? Go. Funeral procession down there. They look like they're totally out of Turn right onto East Main Street. Dude, that is a massive funeral position. Are you allowed to like bypass them in any way or no? Mm, there's no 
nobody here blocking this. Let's just go real slow. Oh, it's like a massive field of fetal position. It's massive. Is he coming at us? In 600 what? feet, oh, turn left onto South Collins Street. Traffic's not blocked in our direction. Yeah, it's not. Because he hopped in his car like really mad. I ain't doing nothing. Didn't did a finna thing, ain't thing, man. Who died? I don't know if you <laughs> turn left onto South Collins Street, right, then right. turn right onto East okay, Water Street. Turn that off. We'll drive through town and we'll get the crap out of here. Yep. A mi me gusta que baile Marieta. Sal buruta y me enseña Marieta. Yes, we're done. But, uh, mm -hmm. Those are an important person. That's a lot of people, bro. Yeah. Phones up to five hundred dollars. That's not a good business. No. I'm saying like you meet these like really like strung out people out here in these parts of Kentucky, like just you know like left mouth and mm -hmm. like, just like missing teeth with a book bag, you know, yeah. looking in like, somebody's eyeway or something. Yeah. I guess that's just like normal here. You know, you know. And, uh, and you got all these people on our channel talking about how they try, they want to politicize poverty and crime and kind of like yeah. Go to Kentucky, you'll see a, a wide variety of, you know what I mean? People always try to politicize it like it's only in the cities and it's only in the inner cities that you yeah. have these things. Come out here to rural Kentucky, you know what I mean? Come to one of these small towns in rural Kentucky and just sit there at a Starbucks or something, you'll find out. So, we, so we can try to go to Florida, it's well ours? Yeah. No, no, no. Harlan, Kentucky, I really want to see that town. 13 hours. Dang. <laughs> yeah. I can, let me see. Let me see what it says now, because it's been a while. Okay. Um, it's Harley, Kentucky, regardless. I want to see Harley, Kentucky. That's okay. Harley. Hold on. <laughs> I don't like the way you said, okay. <laughs> Hold on. Yeah, I don't like the way you said that. Harlan, Kentucky. Okay. Not to be confused with Harlan, Kentucky. That's a whole different place. Do I have to do a driving woman? Now we're driving around Richmond aimlessly because you're too slow. Because the touch screen. Because ah. the touch screen right now. I will leave you here in Kentucky where you belong, woman. Ooh, look how pretty these houses are. Fine, I'll add the car play. Dude, these cords <laughs> suck. What can we buy a quality cord? Would Apple have a quality cord? Probably. Like that doesn't break and last more than two days? Probably. Let's go back on the highway. Continue for one and a half mile. Uh, Siri, there's nothing in one and a half mile. Head southwest on Burnham Court for Sunset Avenue. I'm sorry, Siri. There's, in there's 600 nothing. feet, turn left onto Sunset Avenue. There's no, why do they have a speed limit thing on this street? But like, I'm not, I'm, I'm in a <laughs> rush. Speeding How do you hit 15 turn miles left per onto hour? Sunset Avenue, on. then turn left onto West Main Street. How do you even street? hit 15 miles per hour on this street? Like, you could try to hit 15 miles per hour on this street and be scary. Like, how do you hit 15 miles per hour on this back street? Are you kidding me? You had to put police resources for the smallest street. How, no. do, you get how do you hit 15 miles per hour on that street? It's like encouraging you to speed. Like I was going seven miles an hour. I was like, oh, hold on, I gotta go 15 around here. <laughs> what the crap? Turn left onto West it's Main just Street. Just a waste of resources. The house is for sale. Find out what it's worth. Huh? That house right there is for sale. Okay. It's just out of curiosity. It's on um, Sunset Avenue. Okay, hold on. Nothing to do with Sunset Avenue in Florida. You know, there's like some snobby like Karen lady living back there. Oh, the yeah. car play already came off. Just hand it to me and I'll, I'll look at it. Look at the house. Look at the tree. Look at the dog. Look at the house. Look at the phone. <laughs> Throwing you nuts, huh? A lot needs to happen in these videos. This city, this city does seem pretty, though. That's a beautiful we need a third farm. We really do. What we need to do gosh, they have a Buick. My sister used to have that car. Okay. 
All right, just so you know, and I'm throwing all that, but knowing where we're going is also quite important here. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so up ahead, I can get on Anderson. You're good to go. Find out what the house is for. I'm figuring it out. <laughs> Learn how to multitask, women. We should find out if they have the new Apple phone, the new uh, iPhone at that. Um... We should at least buy a cord there. Yeah. Was it on this exit or was it, are we on the same exit or is it on I think exit? we're on the same exit. I don't think so. Huh. There's some pretty houses in this town. This town seems a little bit better than the surrounding area. But I see the at and uh, I'm pretty sure that's the at and This is the way we came in? I think so. I don't remember coming in through here. No, that's a Clarion. I thought it was the at and because it's so blue. First thing, we need a cord that won't break. These cords have not been lasting like a uh, like the last one we bought lasted what two days? Yeah. Is this the exit to the highway? I think the end of the highway says one. No, that's that street up there. Mm -hmm. Nobody behind us, so I'll just go this way. Somebody dropped their uh, cardboard box and other things on the road. Hey, I mean, we need a clue. We can't, without a, is that a black squirrel? Oh, it's a skunk. Oh, it stinks. Oh. Oh. You smell it? Yep. Oh. And we're inside the car. Yeah. Mmm. It is in your head. Please, this light needs to turn green. Mm, I thought they were bigger than that, though. Still mark, still mark. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. Please, this light turn green. Do you smell it? Yeah. Once that smell gets in your head, it doesn't leave your head. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It smells kind of like weed. Yeah. <laughs> or Burger King. <laughs> it like Burger King. So there's an AT&T store at the next exit? I can just... Direct to say TNT. Yeah, look at that. I'm pretty sure it's the next exit. Oh, this isn't it burn your eyes? My eyes are crying. North, south towards Knoxville. This is what 36 Mafia talking about Knoxville. Like, Knoxville, Tennessee. I got Tennessee. USTD. You know that? It wasn't this exit where we got off of, is it? We didn't get off of this exit, did we? No. It's the next one? Take the key. Oh, my eyes sting. Your eyes sting? Oof. What do skunks do in nature? Like, what's their role in nature? They eat things. Oh, no crap. They ate things, how's that? That's what they do. Well, obviously, they eat things, but what do they eat, baby? You have the power to teach me something now with Google. What, they have to play an important role. I mean, if they... If, if leaving them alone is that important to nature, then they have to play a very special role. Insects and small rodents. They eat rodents, okay. That's why I said they eat things. <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Well, I, I don't know what you mean by things. What do I, I always mean I don't with know. Things? I don't know what the crap you mean. Don't you know that I'm a hip and I don't know English so I should substitute things? How what do I, what do what I do call I, things? What do I, I don't know. What do I call things, Jose? <laughs> you know, they eat burritos and stuff like that. So they eat rodents. Yeah. I'm telling you that, that usually there's a reason why the animal, it, it does some type of important function. I hate to be a scientist I had to figure that one out. I, okay, Larry, you're a scientist now. Your job is to find out what skunks eat. You gotta follow them around. Thanks <laughs> to the, uh, the scientists that had to figure that part out. I'm really just like strapped a GoPro to its head. Like, Alright, we're done. <laughs> no, they probably do. <sighs> yeah. I mean, it's gotta play an important role in, in, in nature. I mean, it has the auto defense. You know, that's that important. Yeah, this is our exit. There's also a Starbucks on this exit. 
Can you imagine the car that hit that? Ooh, you might have to want to jump that thing. <laughs> Shopping mall over here. They got a buyer. A mayor. Didn't we look it up and I was right? You were right. I'm not going to stop calling a mayor. Just because you came along with the proper pronunciation <laughs> doesn't mean that I'm going to make adjustments to my vocabulary to accommodate your needs. Of correctness. Of correctness. <laughs> Jose, you need correctness monster in your life. You, you don't have a Loch Ness monster in your life, Jose. <laughs> you've been in Kentucky for one day and you're talking like a hick. Actually, have you noticed that not... The, well, the guy in Louisville at the hotel had a hick accent. But other than that, they don't have a heavy accent here. Have you noticed no. that? No. Kentucky doesn't really have a... a yeah. Well, let's see what happens in Harlem. Mm -hmm. We should offer some of these people that we see on the street when they come to bother us from... Like, you want 20 bucks? Yeah, yeah. Look at a YouTube interview. Okay. We should hear from somebody for 20 bucks. Hmm. Well, you're going to have to work for these 20 bucks, man. Uh -uh. I couldn't imagine living like that. Uh -uh. Gosh, man. I don't know how people can, can live like that. They have a Starbucks here and a Texas Roadhouse. Uh -huh. And a Panda Express for a small town and a steak and shake. Yeah. They have good things for us. I mean, well, there's a shopping mall over there. So, uh -huh. in a town this big. What's the population of this town? They they have good stuff here. When I say good stuff, I mean like good businesses. Like I'm, not, I'm I'm more off the crackhead conversation at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna go. Thirty six thousand, and it's growing. It's grown five thousand from two thousand ten. Okay, I remember this. We were here earlier. Is the new iPhone out, out yet? What's it gonna cost? I don't know. You should get it and review it. Yeah. Uh, per capita income for the city is fifteen thousand. Wow, that's it. Yeah, close yeah. to sixteen though. Doesn't it? Doesn't it feel like it's more than that, considering how much businesses they have? Oh, because it's a college town. Yeah, yeah. There's college. There's a university, so because there's a university, that lowers their income. So yeah. it's actually much, there's more money moving than that. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind, any town that's got a university or college or a lot of schools and stuff like that, mm -hmm. their income's going to be a lot lower. So it's actually higher than that. It's probably 19, 18, because uh, a lot of those students that live here, they lower the income by a lot. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you can tell there's more money in that moving room. But that goes to show... I think what Lehigh might need is a university. I think if they put a university in Lehigh, they might get more stuff. We gotta attract education towards this well, Apple okay. place. Yeah. Um, there's that Florida Southwestern. Why don't they just put a Lehigh campus and make it all in Lehigh? Then we can get everything. It is in Lehigh. Then why don't we have anything? Oh, look at this truck right here. It's like ours. Mm -hmm. Do you see the, the brake bar at the bottom? Does our truck do that? What? Where's this uh, AT&T store? It's, it's right there. Oh, I see. You see the truck like ours? Mm -hmm. it's, it, see how it has this Chevrolet in, in, the, yeah. in, in the offset color? Yeah. I want to do that to our truck. In, in silver? Red. Like in that? Red. 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 Yeah. The brake bar, yeah. See, it's got the brake bar. Ours doesn't have that, does it? I might. We have to get behind it. See that chrome piece around the windows? Mm -hmm. I want to get that too. Yeah. Ooh, it's got snowflakes. Look how bad they look. <laughs> look at the chrome snowflakes. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, we should get the chrome snowflakes. And they're factory wheels, so it shouldn't ride. It wasn't like the ones we had on there that were horrible. Mm -hmm. If it comes factory with snowflakes and we get snowflakes, mm -hmm. if, as long as we get a, a factory configuration, it won't bounce around. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, the Yukon now, the ones that it got now, mm -hmm. it came with 18s, right? We got 20s on yeah. it. But because it's a factory setup, it rides real smooth. 18 on tape, man. They also got a big lot. Um, Curbside pickup. How do you order a phone? Are you kidding me? 
You can get curbside pickup on a phone. Yeah. Like, you or suck, you're ordering like a charger or something. <sighs> okay. I'm gonna park here. There's like nobody here regardless. Boom. All right, there it is, guys. We're in Kentucky. It seems like a nice town. Pretty good.